Damn it, Connie, I could have killed you. So did you get it? Yeah. And you weren't followed? No, no. Why would I be being followed? Hey, do you want to tell me what's going on here? Here, take this. I'm gonna need you to leave town for a few days, maybe a week. The tags are temporary, so please drive the speed limit. Take the cash and get what you need. No, I can't. Yes, you can. No, I'm not you. Listen to me, yes, you can. No, this is too much. They're going to kill you. Rick and Jamie from R&D, dead. Alex, I haven't heard from him either, so he's probably dead too. Marcy. Yeah? What happened in Santa Fe? Santa Fe was just the end of it. It started in a small town about 20 miles away from Santa Fe to its valley. It was only my second year working there. I was working in the labs when I found out that they were doing mandatory field testing is what they called it. But really it was more like a slow massacre. We started with the poor, then we worked our way through. The drugs were free, so distribution was pretty easy. The hospitals, they couldn't help. There were more sick bodies than there were beds. So they really didn't care where they got relief from. They were lab rats. All of them, just lab rats. They'd watch them and study them. It was all well documented. What worked, what didn't work. I should have asked more questions. I knew something was wrong. It all had this weird stench to it. But you know what? I did nothing. Well, could you have? Stopped it? No. They're all dead. Men, women, children. They didn't care. They killed them all? So you see, they don't give a damn about us. It's just one more body tacked onto thousands. But this drive, it has everything. So I can stop this now. Why risk it? If they are who you say they are, they're going to kill you. I was transferred from Santa Fe, born and raised. It's nothing else they can take from me.